when you add an image, like when I added this image earlier, I did not put it into a snippet. There's a couple of reasons why it's a, actually a better idea to use a snippet. We wanted you to get comfortable with adding an image in the first place, to get comfortable with using the links and stuff like that. So to add a snippet, what it's going to do for the snippets, what a snippet is, is a predefined set of HTML code. So for example, in the safe, I'm just going to use Clay County, these are all in snippets, photo, text, photo, text. These are all different snippets. The page that I had for the website help page had an accordion snippet. So this is a snippet. It's an accordion snippet. This is a contact snippet. So the snippets are set aside for you and me who really don't want to deal with HTML and layout. These are all predetermined sets of code that have image text, image text that are styled correctly. If I want to add a snippet, I'm going to put my cursor where I want the snippet to go. That's the important thing. I'm going to come up. This little puzzle piece is insert snippet. I'm going to click on that puzzle piece and then I get this huge list of snippets. And you're like, what do all those do? If you're in a county, you can make it easier on yourself by clicking on the county page, um, content pages. Oh, we'll, oh, we also have accordions here. Some of these you can completely ignore. I'm going to click on county pages. And this gives me the list of snippets that have been pretty well tested to work really well in that middle column of the county pages. So for this one, I'm just going to add image plus text block plus, plus caption. Boom, there's my snippet. It's already there. As you can see, it's in a table format. Most of our snippets are in a table format just because it's easier to arrange things next to each other and control the formatting that way. When well, you're going to see this, you're going to be like, why does it say Pulaski County? I'm not in Pulaski County. Well, that's where you're going to just highlight it. And I'm saying I'm going to be Clay County yes, Services. That's where you just type over it. And here, the same thing. I want this to change this image because this is not a custom image for me. I'm going to click on the image that's there. It's going to highlight it in red. Same thing that I did earlier. I'm going to go up to my little mountaintop. Very, very important. Highlight that source because that, that has a path to that text, test image. Delete it. Get rid of that source path before you do anything else or it's going to mess everything up. It's just, to me, it's, it, to me, it should just automatically delete, but anyway, it doesn't. Click your browse button. And since my, I'm typing in about Clay County, I'm going to, you know, just go ahead and find Clay County just to be consistent and everything's organized here. I'm going to click Clay and I'm going to steal one of Clay County's images. See, he's got these named 165. I have no idea what that means. So as you can see, if I'm going to browse through the images, it's really important that you name these images something a little bit descriptive. Like, I don't know what that is. All right. Um, so I'm just going to pick one of these field day, Jeremy. That's a great one. 2014 field day, Jeremy Ross. Love that. So I'm going to click insert. Field of something. I don't know what that was a field of. <laughs> See, I don't know my, my ag stuff. All right. Okay. It looks kind of big there. Um, let me actually save it and see if it stays big or if it's going to make it smaller. It kept it kind of big. I don't mind that personally. It actually, you can see the detail a little bit better. But say I'm not quite happy with that. I want to come back in and I want to edit this. See how it's a little bit squished? In this new w WYSIWYG editor, I can click this button here and it expands it out so I can see more. This is just a little um, maximized content region, just so you can see what's going on. With these snippets, you're going to want to make sure you do have a caption. So, uh, and you might want to say what Jeremy Ross does, but I'm not going to do that right now. Jeremy Ross speaking. Uh, I don't know what he was talking about, but that way I can kind of know what's going on. And then I would come in here and add my text. I can click save. And then 
you know, that's pretty much it for adding a snippet. There's a whole bunch of snippets in there. Some snippets, I will say, work better than others in certain areas. So say I want to replace that image that wasn't in a snippet with, and I'm just going to delete all this so I have a clean area here to work with. Click save. See what that looks like. All right. Sometimes I have to get rid of some of the little PDF icons don't want to go away. I'm going to click my image. This is where I want my snippet to go. And I want to have a, just an image without a bunch of text next to it. I just want to insert an image. I'm going to put my cursor where I want it. And we have a lot of really good snippets here. So I'm going to say I want it to float to the left or to the right. And I want it to resize. So I'm going to say left float image 30%. That means it's going to scale the image about 30%. And the way I found that, I just knew the name of it, but feel free if you want to come up here and browse the different categories. I just happen to know what the names of them are. So you can do content pages, images, and that, that narrows it down to just the image snippets if you want. Um, maybe I'm just going to do image plus border plus caption. Um, but actually, let me go back to the left float image. Insert. As you can see, I've got this little bug here. Again, I want to get rid of that highlight it, make it red. First thing I'm going to do, very important, get rid of that source path. And I'm just going to have some random image that looks fine. I don't know why it pushed me back up there, but again, All right, this little thing up here where it says left image with caption, I actually don't know why that's there, but it does not show up on the front end of the website. To me, it's always been a little confusing. So anyway, as you can see, that's where I put my cursor. So it's gonna, it's floating left. So anything that comes next to it is gonna wrap around that picture. So, you know, just know that if you do the float left, float right, if you've got a block of text and you wanna add an image to it, I would use one of those float left, float right ones. If you want to add a little bit of text or space next to it. Oh. Hmm. I don't know if that's going to work. But anyway, normally I would not put an image next to an accordion, but you can. And just kind of mess around with it. If you get into a pickle like this where you're like, okay, what did I just do? Because <laughs> the WYSIWYG editor is going to add in some code that you're not going to be able to fix feel free to contact me or Becky or Steven and we can go in because we have the ability to go into the source code and mess around with the HTML and style it a little bit better. But I do recommend that you use snippets primarily because our site is responsive. A lot of you might know what that means, but it responds to the, to the thing that you're using to access it. So right now I'm seeing the desktop version. If I were on my phone, I would have a different version. I'm going to make this smaller. And this is what this page looks like on a phone. As you can see, the images go away. So just know that if you add a supporting image, say of a flyer of something you've got coming up, you're going to want to still type in the details of that flyer. So don't be a little lazy and just pop up the flyer and think you can just kind of walk away from it because the flyer on some displays is not going to show up, especially on a phone. We do this because, Photos aren't always required content, and you want people who are in those low connectivity areas to be able to access stuff on their phone. So it does go away. And this is what it looks like, say, on a tablet. It looks a little bit different on a tablet. So our site does respond, and that is why you want to use a snippet, because these snippets are coded to load really quickly on a device. All right. I encourage you to kind of play around with the snippets, find, find ones that you're um, comfortable with. That image plus text block is a good one. It shows up usually pretty well for people.